Hello, my name is Arthur, and we're going to begin this series of videos for a platformer game with um, modeling a platformer character in Blender. So we'll just jump right in. I'm going to shoot for something along the lines of an alien stickman kind of character. So I'm going to try to go fast here and get this in as few videos as I can, but it's likely to be a pretty long tutorial. So we'll add the subsurf modifier to a cube, the default cube, and then we're going to scale it down some and zoom in. We'll start with a series of loop cuts. We'll loop cut the middle. A section for the eyes and a section to sort of contain the face. If we look from a side view and go into x-ray we can move a bit of the head around to get it to turn out at a better scale. So we'll sort of round it off and slim it in some. and that should work out okay. Now we'll go into faces. We'll turn off the x-ray so we're not selecting through. And we'll inset a mouth. So we'll inset that. We'll inset a set of lips. Pull those out a little bit. Inset again. Pull that in a little bit. Inset one last time. And pull that in a little bit. And for the sake of seeing that, we're going to scale Z. And slim that in. Good and slender. And that should be okay. Now we'll inset some eyes. So we're going to need the inset faces tool because we want to toggle into individual. That way we'll get individual insets on each of these um, squares. Pull those out a little bit inset a second time. We'll just leave that where it is. Inset a third time. And then pull those in. Now if we go control plus plus number seven uh, or seven on the number pad. Shift D to duplicate. That gets us a second set of eyes and we'll rotate that by 180 degrees and that'll give us some eyeballs. Now we can select all, scale, X and slim that face in a little bit, get it a little more proportionate. Let's look at things with an x-ray from the front view. In order to get things to show from a side view, we can select the center line of vertices, look at it from a full-on view here. Let's circle deselect, so C and middle mouse button, so that we only have the front side of his face selected and we can deselect this vertice and this vertice turn on proportional editing grab that face up shrink the editing down 
and pull that out and we're gonna pull it out a whole bunch and what that's going to do when we turn off x-ray is that's gonna get his face so that it shows now we can grab that up and slim it back in and slim it in quite far and then grab it up again with a small circle and pull it out that way our character is going to show some face from a side view now we have a little bit of face to be able to see so that's going to be our sort of alien head for our for our character so we can come back into faces let's select the four faces for the, for the bottom we're going to need the inset tool because it's stuck on individual we're going to inset this then we're going to do some modifying to that so we've got to get it into vertices seven nine to get the selection inverted we'll put on the move tool and that was a mistake we'll just control Z to get that selection back let's circle deselect all but this line up here that's rather bent then we'll go scale Y zero and scale Z Oh, I see what's the problem here. We got to undo that. That had proportional editing on and that twisted everything. Now we go scale Y0 with no proportional editing on. Okay, now what I'm seeing makes a little more sense. So we can pull that back. Select the entire rectangle here actually let's just select these three and get those into a square shape so scale y0 that'll flatten out the line to uh, evenness and then we can scale this along x to get it more or less into a square shape And then we still need to scale Z zero. Now from a side view, we can start extruding a neck. Or a front view, either way. So we'll extrude. This section will be to extrude his arms from. We'll extrude a body. We'll give him a long body and then we'll extrude a small section for his legs to come from we'll go into faces actually let's do the legs first so we'll grab the faces for extruding the legs look at it from a front view extrude scale X and just pull it out a little bit so he doesn't get stretched into something not a stick man then we'll extrude scale X and we'll just scale it out to being roughly a square and that way we can give him stick legs we'll grab this section front view again extrude just pulling it down a little bit because we don't want we don't want to pull and stretch these corners out so by extruding it a little bit he comes across more like a more like a stick man so we can extrude down to his knees extrude some knees extrude down to his feet we're not going to give him feet but we'll extrude a little bit so that he gets a rounded end on his feet now he's pretty long and strange looking but that's okay because he's supposed to be an alien so 
that's a good way to get around not being that great with the proportions of a human character. So we'll extrude scale X, same process for the shoulders. We'll extrude scale X again. We're going to pull out a little bit further than we did on the legs and then we're going to extrude scale X a square. That way his arms will come down in a place that doesn't overlap with the legs. Front view, extrude, pull it down just a little bit, extrude down to his elbows. We'll give him quite long arms to extrude some elbows. Extrude. And extrude some hands. So that's a pretty strange looking character and could probably use a little adjusting. So let's look at how much time we have here. We're at 11 minutes. So let's go into vertices. Look at things in wireframe where they're good and transparent. And we can just alter his proportions a little bit. Now if we just select this section, go control plus, control plus, circle deselect, we can pull this portion up of his arms up, minus, control, or yeah, control minus and control minus, we can pull this portion of his arms up. Now he looks like a character with particularly long legs and I think I can be satisfied with that. So from here what we'll do is we'll give his joints a little bit of bend to help facilitate IK. So we'll look at that from a side view with his elbows selected and just pull them back a little bit and that helps IK to work. We'll do the same thing with his knees but this will push them forward a bit. Now we can increase the levels in the viewport, tab into object mode. We might want to examine our result here to get an idea what it looks like. Looks a little bit strange, but that's kind of the idea with an alien type of character and I think that it's satisfactory and will work to do what we need it to do which is um, render some Im images of a character for a platformer game so we'll apply that we'll check our time we're just about out of time so in the next video we'll come back and we'll rig this character up and get him ready for some simple animations and until then take care